Now, for your underlying energy, you guys have temperance. Oh, wow, okay. So this is really talking about moderation of things, right? Doing your half, doing your 50, doing the things that you need to do to keep things balanced while the divine timing does its work. Now, that's also requiring a lot of patience. And the reason why patience is necessary is because here you see the moon. There's a lot of you know, kind of crazy, confusing things going on. Possibly very intense energy here. Let's see why the moon's coming up. Eight of Swords. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot of you know, this, this feeling of not being able to kind of get out of your situation. There's a lot of thoughts kind of, you know, clouding your thoughts and your judgment. Therefore, it's making you, it made the situation probably very hard to see. So right now, I feel like this is all about the, the patience, the, the, you know, the time being put in, the management, the balance that's being put into your life. So really, it's all about balance, right? And again, the, poss the impossible possible. Because obviously here with the, with, you know, the, the angel pouring the cup into another, the way he's doing it, it's completely impossible. As long as you keep things in a constant flow, the universe has the opportunity to get things rolling. Now, for your current state of being, you guys have the emperor. So you all feeling pretty stubborn right now, uh, possibly really ready to kind of do some things, put some action forth. So I like this kind of energy. I really feel like you guys are ready to kind of get up and go, really, you know, do something worthwhile. But I feel like you guys also feel pretty darn stubborn, pretty your way of the highway right now. Not really wanting to compromise too much on some things that you guys believe is the right right way to go. Okay. But that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes you just kind of, you know, you could just trust your methods of doing things and just kind of working with that is the best way to handle stuff. And if people don't like it, they don't like it, right? It is what it is. Now, for the goal, you guys have the Four of Cups. So, considering that you guys are feeling stubborn and kind of not hearing things out right now, there could be something that's, that's, you may get yourself stuck. You may feel very stuck here, or you may be currently very stuck, and you don't really have a way out. So you're feeling apathetic, you're feeling kind of possibly very grumpy, but most importantly, just kind of like done with the situation, just really bored. And I have a feeling it's because your stubbornness that you don't see the offer being shown to you. Capricorn is going to require you to kind of compromise or kind of see something from a different perspective. And I know you kind of like it your way or the highway sometimes, but I really get the feeling that the stubbornness is keeping you from being able to, you know, to move on to the next cup, right? To be able to so, um, solve your solution. I feel like there's somebody offering you a cup, but you're just not really wanting it. You're not really wanting to see it, or you just totally don't want anything to do with it. Like, you're just like, look, I like how I'm doing. That's good enough for me, even though you may feel and actually are possibly stuck. Now, the reason why you aren't seeing the cup is because this is an offer of love. So for it's not necessarily like work or anything. It could be that uh, this is some sort of project that's coming up that's someone that's close to someone's heart, but there's someone's heart's desire as well. But I feel like it's, an, it's a cup of emotions. Um, someone could have communicated with you about how they felt. Um, and I feel like you may not have an idea of how you feel, what your heart's desire is, and maybe that's what's keeping you from being able to, you know, to move out of the situation is that you have three cups here and you're kind of trying to figure out what to do with them, but you're not really looking at your own heart's desire or you don't know your heart's desire, even though it's very plain in front of you, you may have forgotten it or this is just, you're not really seeing or you're not really sure what your heart's desire is. And I feel like this reason, the reason why you're not taking the cup also, again, like I said, is just because that there is somebody that's opening their heart to you or there's somebody that's offering you something or communicating to you about their emotions. Okay. And the reason why the page of cups is coming up is because of the two pentacles. Two pentacles is coming up is, is pretty much saying that it's, you know, pretty much distracting work, 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 and not really addressing the play. So I feel like you guys have been really focusing on the practical aspects of your life, really focusing on work, really getting things done, managing your situation, your practical side. But there, you know, speaking of balance, you have to have your emotions incorporated. So I feel like in regards to, you know, doing, you know, feeling pretty stubborn and getting to a place where you want to get out of this energy where you're feeling stuck, apathetic, and just nothing's happening. It's going to require you to have an idea of what your purse desire is because I feel like you've been doing the practical stuff for so long that you kind of shut out what your heart's desire really is or probably you don't remember or what you don't know what your heart really wants right now. So I feel like finding out what it is that your heart wants or look or looking at this kind of emotional this you know emotional situation to kind of help you move on move forward i feel like there is something emotionally that needs to be addressed it could be from you it could be a you know in regards to your desire it could be 
this you know you've been working so hard to kind of avoid kind of confronting some sort of emotional offer or some sort of emotional communication with somebody but um, either way I think it's time to really just settle down and just actually t pay attention to it for once because everything needs to be balanced and it, so far it's looking like the practical side has been balanced but not the emotional aspects because you get a lot more water than you get in pentacles or wands so pen yeah, everything else is set it's just the emotional aspect Capricorn that needs to be you know added onto that to that basket so that things can really have that proper rotation for divine timing to really begin to do its work now for your advice you guys have the devil so i feel like being careful of old habits and old ways of doing something um really be careful be mindful that certain things that you may do is probably a mechanism to protect you but not necessarily there to help you okay so um the devil also talks about finding your inner strength finding your inner power um you know this is all about integrity here when the, when the devil comes up this is also your card capricorn and guys the the devil card is not a bad card it, it really is a really powerful card and this is one of my favorite cards to be absolutely honest it talks about you stay you know overpowering your circumstance right because the devil is looks intimidating but you have the power to say you know what you know i'm, I'm out of here i'm not doing this or i'm going to do what i want to do whether I, whether you want me to or not the circumstance looks kind of shady looks kind of like oh there's no strength there's nothing you can do here there's no options but there is and the options lie within yourself so it's about finding that power finding that capricorn energy and saying you know what despite how steep this hill is looking like think about the, the you know the analogy that astrologers and, and readers give about capricorn you guys are a goat looking at this really really tall mountain and you're feeling like oh you guys anybody that looks at that they're like nah that's that's too high i have no training i have no way of doing x y and z to get up to the top you guys are take this card as, as that example right this is literally this the mountain and this is you here as the goat right this looks intimidating but you guys still find a way to get to the top of the mountain so i think this is the same situation it's to find the power, the inner, the, your inner power here. You're, you're exerting this power here. Okay, I don't feel like this is an overcompensation. It can be. You guys can be overcompensating for what you feel that like you don't unnecessarily have. But I feel like this is really expressing and, you know, exerting your power. Showing your strength and putting out, you know, and standing by your boundaries. And honestly, creating boundaries so that way you can prevent certain behaviors from coming back up here. Okay. <clears throat> excuse me so with the devil it's also could be talking about a karmic relationship as well i know i always say that but this is a love reading now if this was like a career general reading i probably wouldn't bring it up so much but the karmic thing is a really big thing especially when you have two of pentacles in the ace and to me the page of cups is really significant with the queen of cups here so you have a lot of offers coming in as well but the devil to me is really talking about finding your inner power, finding the, the the power in your situation. You may feel trapped or feel like you're not able to do something, but there are, there are options, there are things that you can do to get out of your situation. You just have to believe in yourself that you can get out of those situations and always look for solutions to be able to get out of those things. You guys may be looking for, maybe looking in the wrong direction for the solution, but so as long as you're trying to constantly shift your focus and look elsewhere to help you, I feel like you guys will be able to get out of your situation. Now, for your feelings, you guys have the Page of Pentacles. So, yeah, you guys feel like you're doing a lot of work, a lot of tedious work, um, boring. It's just kind of like, it's, te it's temporary, but it's still like really, really boring. Um, but I also get this feeling that there is this, 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 you feel committed to something. I feel like you guys are wanting to commit to something or you guys are have offered the cup to somebody else. Maybe this is a cup of love that you extended and you feel very committed about it. Or you feel like this offer of love is a sense of, is a immense commitment from you. Okay. Or this is, could also be speaking of seeing the details, looking at the details, taking time and studying something um, to the actual, absolute core, right? To really get in, you know, getting a better idea of what you're working with. Uh, especially with the two of pentacles here and you know weighing your options weighing the value and making your decision about what is truly valuable to you you do need to assess your emotions for that so i really feel like looking at your emotions and feeling very you know very committed to you know looking at the very details that's what's going to help you get to where you want to be right and i feel like most importantly you feel like you guys are just constantly doing the work 
doing stuff that you may not like you may not really enjoy too much um so but it's still getting you somewhere it's still making progress in some sort of direction now with your hope and fears you'll have the queen of cups so the queen of cups is talking about feeling emotionally open possibly feeling a bit vulnerable but not in a bad sense the queen of cups is vulnerable and she don't care she's she lets her heart on her sleeve. She leaves her heart on her sleeve, and she knows it's in her cup, which has a lid on it, as you see. She doesn't really share that cup with anybody. It's very special, and she knows what her heart's desire is. So I feel like you guys may want to have, uh, is your hopes and fears, with saying that you want to have a clue about what it is that you want, what your heart's desire is. I feel like you may want to feel in love. You want to be in love, and you want to feel vulnerable and comfortable being in love with someone but then at the same time like it's hard right because you've been hard for quite a long time the emperor is not soft he's hard and this is here is like offering you a cup of love and you're not sure if you can really you know allow yourself to be that sort of soft to that person okay because this is these are very precious cups here those three cups those are cups of support so to be offered some love you're like i don't know if i could do this because you have the way the options whether it's worthy worth worth the you know if the offer or the extension of, of emotional uh communication is worth you know being vulnerable with um if it's, is it worth allowing yourself to be that you know emotional with this person again because that's what i'm kind of seeing here as well and that's where the, the devil comes in just you know want to refrain from doing things from like refrain, you know going back for, to old habits and doing things that may not have actually helped you but a sense of you know protection but you know the the devil card is not really the best card to um not, not the devil card but you know going back to old habits rather is not the best thing you may want to do right now especially with new karma new things going on uranus entering taurus you want to start something fresh you want to do something new you want to behave in a different manner so i feel like breaking free from the chains and doing something that you may not usually do which is very hard for you to do anyway capricorn is worth it okay now in your outcome you have the world so this talks about completion of a cycle but successful completion this is another saturn ruled card capricorn your you know your ruling planet is saturn so i do see that this is a really really good sense of completion here so a rewarding completion here and i feel like you guys can get here as long as you you know f you know break free from the trains that keep you from you know feeling as though you have power in your situation you exert this power here it's time to apply that power in your personal life your your you know the ways of doing something especially if it's turning down an offer before really consulting it or figuring it out or figuring out whether this is something that you really want to try and give it you know i'll give an emotional chance i'm gonna go ahead and pull you guys up romance angels let go of control issues. Ooh, control issues. Wow, you have the emperor here and the devil. Uh huh. Control issues. And that makes sense with the temperance card coming up, guys. Temperance is all about flow, go with the flow, managing things, taking your time, being patient. It's relinquishing control in a certain extent. Ah, letting go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally so some old those old patterns are starting to look like those old situations you know the old behaviors that you guys may be you know that the cards may be communicating to you guys about is the fact that you know you guys control everything okay maybe this told you know controlling every aspect may not be beneficial for you and that's probably where that's you know the but you know the habit comes in right you're wanting to wanting to control everything and you're not really interested in seeing something new or or doing something different because it's not your way right okay so maybe stubbornness may not be the best course of action not 100 percent stubbornness is handy in certain aspects but for right now in order for you to be vulnerable and open you have to relinquish a bit of control that you have okay so for your whispers of love you guys have I love you. Okay. These are very important words. And somebody must have said that because the Page of Cups is coming up and the Four of Cups. Those are both like Ace of Cups kind of like or offers really. So you guys could be hit with somebody that said I love you and you may be holding out, holding back because you're not really completely 100% sure you sure 100% sure you want to be this vulnerable. Okay? 
Um, and that is the thing. You do, you know, you have something here that's keeping you back, some old behavior, some old patterns, and it's time to break free from that. And I feel like that breaking free portion is the control, is holding back, is kind of focusing on the practical and just ignoring your emotions. You feel something for this person, and just going for it really just has, is really being honest with who you're, who you are, and it's truly showing your self love because you don't disrespect your emotions like this so if you um, respect yourself and respect your emotions allow yourself to feel in the way you want to and that's where the reward comes in because you allow yourself to be free to love and to have, have all of you flow not just the practical not just the fashion not just the, the logical but you also have the emotional slapped in there and things can really start to build and become beautiful because divine timing has everything balanced for you to and pushing it in the right direction so it's going to require you to let go of control issues to allow yourself to be vulnerable and then love and to really see that you can be happy and you don't have to have everything kind of you know held on okay so it's going to be hard capricorn i know i know i know i know you guys are ruled by saturn you know things are kind of your way of the highway anyway so it's going to be difficult but i feel like you guys can do it